What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today of course I thought I would show you guys a deck profile using the brand new Sacred Beast Structure Decks. So of course this is uh, three of them that we're using for this video, so that means you can actually build this deck for $30, you just gotta buy three of these. And of course to go along with that too, I'm doing a giveaway with Big and Collectibles where we're giving away three of these Structure Decks. So all you gotta do is uh, just leave a comment on this video, give me a way to contact you, and we're just gonna have this like it's gonna end in a week, so I'll have like all that in the description. It's not USA only, by the way, and we're just gonna use like a random number generator to choose the winner on that, okay? So just leave a comment, and um, yeah, just a way to contact you. It could be Facebook, Instagram, email address, or Twitter. Uh, we'll make those the options because you can't use YouTube because of the way it's set up, okay? So, yeah, big thank you to them for sending me some extra ones to give away to you guys, and let's get on with the deck profile. All right, so, of course, uh, starting us off, I am running two of each of the Sacred Beasts. So we have two of Raviel, two of Haman, and then two of Uriah. So, obviously, you got to have all them easy to bring out now with their new cards and everything, and... Yeah, they're Sacred Beasts, so obviously you're going to have a few of them, right? And then, of course, one of our new Raphael, uh, Shimmering Scrapper. You only really need one of him. I mean, he helps out with, like, powering up the original Raphael, which is nice. He's kind of, uh, not exactly like Honest, of course, in effect, but kind of that idea, I guess is the best way to put it. You know, where he's just able to really power him up. You can go for a game easily with that, too. Easy to get back to your hand and all that as well, so... Yeah, these are all pretty obvious, and the best ratios that I've come up with, because, uh... Otherwise, uh, they can be kind of cloggy for the deck and, and break. So you, you want to be careful, <laughs> of course, on that. Too many high-level monsters, you know, can be a problem. Then next up, the two cards that help make it a lot easier to bring out your Sacred Beasts are three of a Dark Beckoning Beast, and then, of course, after that, uh, three of Chaos Summoning Beast. So yeah, these two work really well together as well. Basically, what the combo is, is that uh, you summon a Dark Beckoning Beast, then you get its searching ability, which can help you set up for then having a Chaos Summoning Beast, everything you need for it. Because with it, go on ahead, bring it out. Let's say you have Summoning Beast, or you, of course, have uh, one of the Sacred Beasts already in your hand. You're all good on that then. Then, of course, uh, you can get another normal summon because of Beckoning, which then will allow you to summon Chaos Summoning Beast. Then, of course, you can use its effect to tribute it to then bring out one of the Sacred Beasts. So it could be Uriah, Haman, Raviel, one of them. Just boom, on the field instantly, not worried about their other forms of summoning. So it makes it so much easier to do. These cards make it way better. And then, of course, too, uh, we also have this one, which we've had for a while, but, of course, it is three of Dark Summoning Beast. Again, another one that adds a ton to the consistency, helps you search for what you need, helps you get your Sacred Beasts out there, uh, again, I think it came out in Duel Saga originally, but now it makes more sense to have with everything else we're getting from the structure deck. So, yeah, another great addition for it, and uh, again, it just makes it so much easier to bring out the Sacred Beasts. Then, after that, since we are using what's in the structure deck, we're not using any outside help, I am also running three of Danger Chupacabra, and then, of course, uh, two of Radiant, the Multidimensional Kaiju. Both of these are pretty good choices. I mean, they're good reprints in the structure deck anyway. Uh, any of the danger cards are always useful. But, uh, yeah, since we only have so much to choose from, Chupacabra helps out because it gives us a little bit of a draw engine, you know, being able to draw some extra cards and another easier monster to bring out, so that's nice. And Radiant, I mean, he's a kaiju. <laughs> so, basically, being able to turn any of your opponent's monsters into basically a kaiju monster is always a good thing and like anything. So, both of these are great additions. And, of course, too, since we can't really have outside help from other cards that are in the structure deck, I feel like these are probably the best two choices on that. Now, of course, for our spell cards, I am running three of Fallen Paradise. Fallen Paradise is your field spell. Basically, it helps you set up for everything you need, helps protect your Sacred Beast, and also when you have a Sacred Beast out there, you get to also draw two cards using this. So it's like a pot of greed every turn. Yeah, <laughs> being able to protect and draw, amazing. Then next up, another one of our new cards is uh, Opening of the uh, Spirit Gates. Of course, running three of this. Uh, another amazing card for the deck. I mean, first off, it helps you search for what you need, helps you get your Sacred Beasts, of course. It can help you revive even some of your monsters, your Dark Summoning Beasts, basically, that can help you bring out your Sacred Beasts. And then, if you have everything set up the way you need it, it can also help you get your continuous spells back. So, it just helps with, like everything, it seems like. So once you already have your Sacred Beast set up, you even have that Fallen Paradise out there so it's protected. Then after that, activating these kind of cards, you're just getting like more abilities to help you set up even further. So it's obviously great on that. And then for the last four spells, I am running three of a Dimension Fusion Destruction. Basically, your polymerization to, of course, uh, go for the fusions. And then uh, two of Cerulean Skyfire. 
This with Haman gives you a negation effect, and then also, too, if you have one of your Sacred Beasts, it leaves the field, and you have this card on your side of the field, too, it helps protect you from battle damage. So, uh, an extra, you know, effect to that that can come in handy, but mainly this with Haman makes it so negating spells and traps and stuff uh, really comes in handy. So, usually, in, uh, in most of my cases, in my test duels and stuff, too, I would bring out Haman would be, like, the main Sacred Beast I would go for, and then have this, and there you go. You're, you're pretty well set up, and then with everything else going on, you're good. Then moving on to trap cards, three of Hyper Blaze. This is basically your Cerulean Skyfire for Uriah. You know, it's his trap card that helps him out. So with it, of course, you can help power up Uriah. Then, of course, too, it also has another effect, making it easier to bring out the Sacred Beast. So either way, it's going to help you out on that. Again, in most cases, I'm bringing out Raphael and Haman because their base attack is 4,000. You know, without any change or anything, you get that kind of monster. Uriah is much weaker, unless you have a bunch of trap cards out there, or this card helping it out. So, that's always something you want to keep in mind, but this trap card makes it so Uriah is on a more even playing field than the others, and can actually be really powerful, especially uh, later on in the duel. So, definitely recommend this card for that reason. And then, this is, like, probably my favorite trap card of Structure Deck. We have three of Awakening of the Sacred Beasts. This is just insane. If you have Sacred Beasts out there, you're gaining life points every time your opponent is summoning a monster. You can also negate your opponent's monster's effects. And then not only that, to that last part, even making it so that uh, your opponent's monsters will be banished. And also you can search for continuous trap cards. I mean, it does basically everything. Of course, you have to have more Sacred Beasts out there to gain all these additional effects. But once you do, which is not a problem... It's a pretty insane trap card to have. Just that first part, too. Gaining uh, life points for each monster your opponent summons like that, you can gain like some insane life points for what you're going against. And then to go along with that, I'm also running two of Escape from Dark Dimension. This is, the best way to put it, it's probably like your Monster Reborn for this deck, because you're going to be banishing a lot of your monsters, and uh, being able to bring them back like that with this trap card is really good. And of course, it's a continuous trap, so Uriah. There you go. And then, of course, for the extra deck, yes, you do actually have an extra deck for this, which is kind of funny. We only have two of our uh, fusion monsters in this structure deck, so we're using three of each of them. Have three of Armatile, and then three of uh, Phantasm Emperor. Both of these are great options to have. That's why I'm running three of the uh, the polymerization, basically. It's because it is easy to bring out both of these. I mean, in most cases, you're going for Armatile. But I feel like, you know, since we obviously have the room, might as well include the other one. So it, it is a good one to have in certain situations, but most of the time, you're going for Armatile. Uh, you just need one of each Sacred Beast for it. It can be a 10,000 attack monster. You're steamrolling your opponent after that. Done. I mean, it is a very powerful card. It is basically a god card, and it is kind of, in a way, a god card fusion, sort of. You know, it depends what you count Sacred Beasts. So, great to have. But I do like having the other option, too, because it's not specific in which ones it needs, so... Yeah, it just depends on your situation, but yeah, you're going for Armatal on that. And then, of course, since, well, we are using the structure deck, we have all these tokens that I'm also using as well, because, yeah, <laughs> with Raviel and all that, you probably want to have a few extra tokens. And yeah, there you go. That is my Sacred Beast deck profile. So, of course, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, you can build this deck for $30. It's a lot of fun to use, but you're not going to have something as competitive as someone that's spending more money. There are some negatives to it, because... Sacred Beast, you're dealing with a lot of high-level monsters. If your opponent can negate a few things for you, the deck can actually break fairly easily. Now, if you're using some outside help, you can prevent this a little bit more. That's why I've been debating on, should I do a deck profile using, you know, any cards I want? Let me know, you know, because I'm debating on that because it is Sacred Beast. The nostalgia's there. I want to build more of this deck because it's a lot of fun to use. I mean, come on, I'll admit, just like I did in the opening, uh, I'm a big fan of the structure deck mainly because of the nostalgia. And the new cards are really good too, but the nostalgia just really wins with me. I mean, being able to use Sacred Beasts and them doing well, that's fun. Or at least in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think about this structure deck, of course, uh, and what you think of the deck profile. Like and subscribe and all that too. That helps out tremendously. Also check out my TCG player link that will take you to the structure deck if maybe you haven't bought your structure deck yet or you're missing a few cards from it or whatever, or just any cards in general. If you use my link or the code CyberNight, it helps support my channel. And it's helped tremendously with everything going on with YouTube and the pandemic advertisements have not been kind. And uh, again, just uh, check out the giveaway. Like I said, just leave a comment. That's all you have to do. And of course, include a way I can contact you. So thank you for watching again. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other deck profiles because I got a few on the way with, of course, Red Eyes and Cybers. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.